Finally, a new account update video on our restart project. This is day 62. This means this is going to be our two month account update. We are going to start with power, VIP buildings, research, and then we are going to take a look at commander's equipment. And at the end, <laughs> the, the part that you like the most, how much we spent so far. If you guys didn't know, I keep track of everything, every single dollar that we spent. So without further ado, let's start our account update video. Let's go. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> All right, our power is 8 million. To be honest, it is a little bit less than I expected. I was aiming for like, I wasn't aiming, but I was expecting to get 10 million at uh, two months. But the thing is, we are not pushing for power. We don't have that much resources. As you can see, our resources, definitely like wood and stone, doesn't look good. Uh, we do have good number of pick one chests though. Uh, we do have really good number of speed ups. We haven't spent majority of our flux scripts. If we take a look at the purchase, for example, by the way, I still have 125k gems and I haven't even purchased growth fund, which is only for 15 bucks, 70k gems, I think, or 70 something k gems. This is great value for pure gem wise. And we haven't max purchased King's Coronation yet. So we do have a lot of flux scripts in the bank and we do have a lot of gems. So I am not quote unquote pushing power. I'm just letting it run. Basically, it wouldn't mean anything if I had like 10 million power instead of eight right now. There is no point. Now, VIP. We are finally VIP 10. In fact, we are so close to VIP 11. You know what? Let's spend some gems. Screw more than gems because only 18k left for VIP 11. And let's get VIP 11. Not because of like, you know, it gives a lot of good benefits. No. Troop attack, hospital capacity. Like, we're not going to need them until KVK 1. Gathering speed is, is, of course, good. But the main thing I would say would be Sunset Canyon free attempts because Sunset Canyon doesn't matter if you win or lose. Let's attack random person, skip battle. There we go. The main thing about Sunset Canyon, in my opinion, is the material value. Let's lose one to show you like it doesn't mean anything, winning or losing. Okay, still good chunk of equipment material chests. So when you think about material wise, it is a good benefit. But of course, the main reason why VIP 11 is important because it gets us closer to VIP 12. And at VIP 12, we are going to get instead of one, because we are already at VIP 10, we passed VIP 10. Instead of one, now we're going to start getting two legendary commander sculptures, which is, in my opinion, insane. The main building, of course, the only thing that we are going to talk about is City Hall. Right now, we're at level 23, and we are so close to 24, uh, not resource-wise, <laughs> but the only thing that's left is Siege Workshop. And it's going to end within a day. After this one is finished, we are going to upgrade our City Hall to 24. And the only thing that's left is going to be City Hall 25, of course. That is the maximum that you can upgrade your main building. Here's a quick side tip before we move on to commanders and equipment. As you can see, there is no fog on the map. So what happens is the fog actually cleared in this kingdom. And there is an item that you get from villages and I think from caves as well. And that is called Kingdom Map. If you use it when there is fog on the map, it's going to clear some amount of fog in the map. However, if you wait until the kingdom that you are in is fog is completely cleared, if you use them after that, boom, there we go. It's going to give you five minutes speed up for every single kingdom map. In that case, we got almost 700 five minute speed ups, which is, I think, insane value. Definitely much better value than clearing some amount of fog. Now, commanders. We can now summon Richard and Ishida. I actually didn't spin the wheel that much. I only did the three spins. I think, I, yeah, I did the 50% as well, but I didn't do the five spins. Let's summon them. The reason why I waited to summon them is because so that I can do that during the video, which is going to trigger two Rights of History bundles. This is, in my opinion, the best pop-up bundle in the game when it comes to uh, collecting Legendary Commander sculptures. $5 for 10 sculptures, so 50 cent for a sculpture. I think that is a great value money-wise. Of course, Ishida is a gathering commander, which is great. Richard, I won't be using him. I won't be investing on him. Maybe a 5-1-1-1 Richard is like really versatile for the investment because you can use him in Canyon. You can use him in PvE, like killing barbarians or chaining barbarians if you do have a commander. I mean, you can even do it with Ethelflaed, but it's not that reliable. Uh, but yeah, Richard, just for 50 sculpture investment is good. However, the main problem at the start of the game is going to be not just the sculptures, but also the stars. For example, if I click on this, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I have. So getting a commander, getting a second commander to level 60 is going to require a lot of stars and it's going to be a quite challenging. My Minamoto, I got him to six stars, almost level 60. In this stage, I don't think I need to spend any Tomb of Knowledges on him because level 60 really matters when you're in KVK. And until KVK1 starts, he's going to be level 60 anyways. 
uh, from killing barbarians, killing guardians. So as I said, I don't need to use any Tom of Knowledge's, of course, his expertise. He's going to be our only main commander. I can go for a secondary match, by the way. Let's talk about the first one. This is going to be either Minamoto with Kao Kao. His first skill is max. Unfortunately, the next upgrade landed on the Barbarian damage. And we only need one more sculpture to upgrade one more skill. And hopefully, it's not going to land on this one. So option number one is Minamoto with Kao Kao. This is what we are going to use if enemy are not fighting with bunch of extra marches. Let's say one or two marches per player. However, if there are a lot of troops on the map, instead of going for Minamoto and Kao Kao, we will go for Minamoto primary and Babers secondary. And if I go up to two marches, if somehow I do train enough troops to go to two marches, then again, I'm going to use Minamoto Kao Kao and Babers primary this time with FF flat secondary because there is a you know little bit of a synergy with between Babers and FF flat and Minakauka of course a tried and true a great pairing but for later stages of the game for example when there is a recharge event or something similar to recharge event you sometimes do need to buy these daily bundles to complete that recharge with, with very small amount of money like one dollar two dollars whatever and instead of going for Kao Kao when he's available I will actually go for Mehmet the reason is, if we compare Kao Kao and Mehmet, I would say he's going to be more beneficial in the long run because he does have AoE, he does have skill damage increase, but more importantly, I think his museum buff is insane, especially compared to Kao Kao. Like, his buff is quite weak in my opinion, but the Mehmet's buff is pretty strong, so... When there is a chance for us to choose commander sculpture-wise between Kao Kao and Mehmet, I will now 100% will go for Mehmed Kauka. First skill is already maxed. That's all that matters. Now we're going to switch to Mehmed when there's a chance. Equipment is still the same. We got a special talent on Windswept Boost and all our greens. We haven't got a special talent on these two pieces yet, which is quite annoying. However, I have good number of materials. Some chests here, raw materials, like one legendary, one epic. But of course, more importantly, plus 2,000 regular leather. So when there is an event that gives us the blueprints for epics, we will definitely upgrade this equipment massively with one sitting. I think I'm going to do one video and I can't wait for it because this is <laughs> actually very weak. So this is our commanders and equipment. And just a side note, let's take a look at gathering commanders because the thing about gathering commanders, you want to start upgrading your gatherers to level 37 and then you want to stop there. I mean, you want to switch to the next one until they all are 37. Of course, there's only one reason and that is unlocking superior tools 5 out of 5. Later in the game, you can get them to level 40. This is a quality of life upgrade. Commander Siege units gain march speed, so faster they march to a node. Of course, faster they start gathering resources. Technically, this is quote-unquote extra gathering speed, but as I said, first you need to get all of them to 37, in my opinion, and then you can start going for level 40. Uh, before we move on to spending section, let's take a look at our alliance. Uh, around 60 days and we almost have 1.6 billion power, gift level level 20. And we have massive veils, you already know it, 67 million, 90 million, 52, another 50. Uh, we have a bunch of <laughs> 50, 40, whatever. Like, we do have a very, very strong KVK1 kingdom. And I think I can safely say that we did secure KVK1. Our main preparation should be for KVK2 from now on. Now, spending. We have every single purchase right here. However, what I normally do was going over purchase one by one and so that the number that you can see right now, I think it was 507, right under me was going up one by one. And I did see some comments saying that just give us a total number for the day, I mean, for the video. So that's what I'm going to do uh, in this one. And let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to go every single purchase one by one or just give you the full value. Of course, I'm going to show you what I purchased. Writer of History, King's Coronation, only $20 version uh, because of Recharge Event. Like all these purchases was during Recharge Event because recently we had an event, uh, like a seasonal event, and we did have some sort of a Recharge Event. And this is basically 30-day gem supply, um, material, 7-day material supply, and little purchases like Treasure of Courage. I think it was this one, like $1. Yeah, 200 gems, $1. And the only reason for these purchases was spending minimum amount of money for maximum return during those recharge events. A seven day material, treasure of wisdom, courage, and like these are small purchases. And then we popped up a Vanguisher bundle because we did somehow, we did actually get a legendary equipment from regular keys. And then another seven day material supply, and then two writer of histories we just purchased today. I don't know our final amount, but off camera, I'm going to calculate it and it should be here right now. This 
is the total amount that we spent so far and this is our two month account update but as i said we still have a bunch of resources not resources but a bunch of speed ups uh, a lot of gems and of course a lot of flux scripts hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more update videos or more rise of kingdoms videos in general i see you on the next one thank you for watching goodbye